How far away from your house should you release a mouse? If you've ever found yourself in a Tom and Jerry situation, you know it's more than just a simple game of cat and mouse. It's a complex issue that requires a fine balance between kindness to these little creatures and safeguarding your home. You see, mice are surprisingly adaptable and have a strong homing instinct. That means, even if you catch them and release them a few blocks away, they might just beat you back to your living room. It's a bit like a pesky, uninvited guest who just won't take the hint. So, the question remains, how far should you release a mouse from your house to prevent it from returning? Let's find out. Releasing a mouse might seem like a simple task, but it's more complex than you might think. When we release a mouse into an unfamiliar environment, we inadvertently challenge its survival chances. Mice are quite adaptable, yes, but they thrive best in a familiar setting. The abrupt change of surroundings can lead to a lower survival rate due to a lack of food and shelter and increased vulnerability to predators. Studies have shown that the survival rate of a relocated mouse can be significantly lower, with the unfamiliarity of the new environment being a major factor. You see, when a mouse is released into a new area, it has to quickly find a safe shelter and a steady food source to survive. If it can't, it becomes an easy target for predators. Now you might be wondering, how far should I release the mouse then? Well, the recommended release distance is at least two miles away. This distance is sufficient to deter the mouse from making its way back to your house. But remember, it's not just about distance. The type of habitat also matters. A suitable habitat would be one that provides plenty of food sources, shelter, and ideally, an existing mouse population. But why an existing mouse population? Well, mice are social creatures. They communicate and learn from each other. So, being in an environment with other mice can increase their chances of survival. So, the next time you catch a mouse, remember that the release location can have a significant impact on its survival. The goal is not just to get the mouse out of your house, but to also give it a fighting chance to survive in its new environment. Before you decide to release a mouse, there are legal and ethical considerations to keep in mind. You might be surprised to learn that some areas have local wildlife release laws. These laws are put in place to protect both the wildlife and the balance of our local ecosystems. It's essential to familiarize yourself with these laws before deciding where to release a mouse. The potential impact on the ecosystem is another key consideration. Mice are adaptable creatures, but introducing them into new environments can disrupt local wildlife populations. It's not just about the mouse, but also about the birds, insects, and other animals that share the same habitat. Ethically, it's about striking a balance. Yes, we want to be kind to these creatures and give them a chance at life, but not at the expense of disrupting ecosystems or breaking local laws. And of course, not at the risk of our own home safety. To navigate these considerations, you may need to consult with local wildlife experts or pest control professionals. They can provide advice tailored to your specific situation, keeping in mind the best interests of the mouse, the ecosystem, and your home. Catching a mouse is the first step, but how do you do it effectively and humanely? We've all heard about the classic mouse trap, but did you know there are also humane traps available? These traps are designed to catch the mouse without causing it harm, so you can release it back into the wild. But of course, a trap is only as good as its bait. The right bait can make all the difference. Cheese, despite popular belief, isn't always the best choice. Mice are omnivores with a preference for fruits, seeds, and grains. So, consider using these as your bait instead. Once you've set your trap with the right bait, it's a waiting game. But remember, timing is everything. It's important to check your traps regularly to ensure that any captured mouse isn't left in there for too long. But what if you're dealing with more than just a mouse or two? Sometimes the situation calls for professional help. Pest control professionals are trained to handle larger infestations, and they have the knowledge and tools to do so effectively. They can assess the situation, implement a control plan, and ensure that the mice are removed from your home in the most humane way possible. So, whether you're dealing with a lone mouse or an entire family of them, remember that there are ways to handle the situation effectively and humanely. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.